Welcome to a very special edition of Tag Lab. We just celebrated Tag Digital's 13th birthday, so it was very exciting for us. And as a result of that, we wanted to share our 13 lessons after 13 years in business. You see what we've done there. And so the Tag Lab team asked Craig and I to have a think about all of the things that we've learned over the last 13 years. And when I was putting this together, for me, I definitely could have written about a hundred things because we have learned so much, made so many mistakes uh, and got a couple of things right along the way. So always very happy to reflect on those. So Craig, I don't know how you found the process putting all of those together. Did you find it easy? What did you think? Um, I think it was easy to, it was easy to start making a list, but um, you saw me deleting things off my list up until five minutes ago, so there was there was plenty we could talk about. Okay, so I'm going to start and we're going to hand them off to each other. So the first one that I think is a real lesson when you're running your own business is there is only room for optimism. So things around you sometimes can not look that great, but you've absolutely got to be optimistic. Pack your own sunshine and always think about how you can contribute more than you complain nobody is interested in complaining so being super optimistic and super positive i think is is really important that was my first what about you easier said than done sometimes um <laughs> number one for me was just that perseverance pays off um i think I, I don't have the statistics to hand but the number of businesses that fail in the first year is huge and i think sometimes you just have to keep going when other people won't um, you have to make your avail yourself available at all times. You're contactable at all times in all places. Holidays take on a different meaning. You're never truly off at any time. Um, and and just keep at it. Like I, I think that sounds very simplistic to say that, but it's true. If you've got the means to keep doing it, sometimes you'll beat your competitors. Sometimes you'll win work just because you keep going and you've got grit and determination and eventually it'll pay off. Yeah, I think that's a really good one, actually. And you don't need to be actually the most talented or the most experienced. You just have to be the person that keeps showing up day after day. So, yeah, big fan of that one. Uh, my next one is diversity of thought is absolutely magic when you see it in action. And we have learned so much from the team around us because you just have different blind spots and things that you can't see. So getting different people with shared experiences and also giving them a platform to speak up and share their ideas. So sometimes you need to give people permission to give you feedback because it doesn't always come naturally. And I'd say I'm still surprised at the amazing things that people come up with. So having that kind of really mixed team is a yeah, magical thing in action. Um, my second one actually ties in quite nicely to that. So my second one was to hire smart people and to trust them. Um, anyone that starts their own small business, you know, not necessarily a business that's got loads of funding on day one, but starts a small business, you'll be used to just doing everything yourself. So the first year or two, you're everything in the business. You're the finance person, you're the sales person, you're the production person, you're everything. But when you're in a position to hire good people, smart people, you need to take a step back. And sometimes doing that is quite difficult, um, but it's the only way you're going to grow your, grow your business. So hire smart people, trust them to do the job that you've hired them to do. Obviously, you're there to help them when they need it, but you need to kind of learn to back off and, and give them space to do their job. Great. My next one is around getting completely comfortable with total ownership and accountability because that is true when things go wrong and as well as when they go right sometimes. So you have to be really okay with being extremely accountable for things that happen because whatever you do, others will then emulate. And it can be really difficult sometimes, but I think just owning your decisions We've always said you live and die by your own decisions, like whether they're good or bad. So just getting really good at making decisions, not being fluffy. And then if it goes wrong, fine, hold your hands up, deal with it, but move on really quickly from that. I like that one. Fast decisions. 
Um, my third one is a total cliche, but it was really important to us um, during COVID. So my third lesson was that tough times don't last, tough people do. Um, we lost about 96, 97% of our briefed in work during the first three, four weeks of COVID. Um, the business kind of was on the verge of vanishing, but we just had to have belief that this will eventually pass. Um, we'll tough it out. We'll just take it day by day. And uh, and whether it's COVID, whether it's anything else, whether it's economic uncertainties, wars, whatever, there'll be some bumps in the road. They'll be difficult, but they will pass. And uh, kind of ties back into my first point, I suppose, that just persevere and keep going. For sure. My next one might sound obvious, but it is work really, really hard. And you have to be motivated by yourself. You've got to have some form of intrinsic motivation because especially in the early days and even still now, there's nobody asking you to do things. There's nobody really wanting you to do any work. It's completely up to you to work hard and deliver things and build clients and support, build the team and build people up. And you've got to work extremely hard and you know whatever time it takes to do that the most important thing is actually getting the thing done um and i think actually we all get huge amounts of benefit by doing difficult things i think it's the only way that you get better and it can be quite painful at the time but the payoff is there so yeah i think work really hard to achieve your goals and don't be waiting on anybody else to do things for you or be chasing you just do it for yourself nice my next one uh, is communication is key to everything basically um i think sometimes you can hear in agencies but in all companies you can hear this person's a difficult client but really all it is if you if you kind of go back to the beginning of the project the communication usually has been poor Poor communication results in unrealistic expectations. And when the client's expectations and our team's expectations misalign, you get these kind of um, these kind of issues that come up and people start being labeled challenging clients, difficult clients. But whether it's your clients, whether it's your internal team, your suppliers, your advisors and mentors, clear communication is so important. And I think for me, the way I like to do clear communication is just to be very, very simple. I don't like lots of like fluff. I'm quite happy for things to be direct. Um, and and yeah, I think in everything you do in the business, focus on being a good communicator, saying what you mean, say it succinctly, and uh, there's less room for, for ambiguity and misunderstandings then. For sure. Uh, the next one is I I know that we all get a lot of happiness from when we do things for other people that help them. Like it's been scientifically proven, we get the most happiness from actually supporting others around us. And I know that the more that we can do for our team and our customers, the more likely we are to build that relationship and get those things back in different ways. So. I think striving to give before you ask for something is the way that you have to do business. So giving your team opportunities and learning and support and opportunities to feedback and all of these things makes it a much easier platform when you need to ask. Like, we all need to work really hard to get this thing over the line and finish this project. So I think that's true in any walk of life is give as much as you can and you will get that back in you know a million different unexpected ways. Cool. My next one is to fail fast and fail often. And I think we are getting better at this um, every day. I'd say we're doing a lot more of this than we ever did in the past. So any ideas that any kind of business owner might have for new products or services, there's ways now to kind of soft launch those products, gauge interest from your clients. So for us, we sometimes might put out a landing page, a little bit of information about the product or service, gauge interest in the market. If we get lots of people interested in it, then good, we'll do a bit more development. If we don't, then it's quite quick to kill it off and we don't dwell on it. Maybe do a little bit of analysis, why something worked, why it didn't. And then we just park it and we move on to the next thing. Don't waste time, 
keep marching forward. Next one is you can do absolutely anything that you put your mind to. And I think you hear that, but when you really understand it, it is transformative. Having the vision of whatever the thing is that you want to do is half the battle. There's so many people who don't really know what they want to do or know where they want to go. And it's even just defining what that vision actually is. And then once you define it, you need to work bloody hard to get there. You need to bring brilliant people along with you. But anything is possible. And I absolutely believe that. I think when you decide what that thing is, you know, and go 10 times bigger than you even imagined. And uh, I think it's it's absolutely possible to do. Totally. It kind of goes back to the, the Steve Jobs quote, doesn't it? About, you know, everything in this room is created by somebody no smarter than you. Everything's made yeah. up. Everything is made up. And we always say this, like we've built the business from a thing that is just a made up thing. And we can, we continue to do that time and time again. And that's true of every business around you. So be the person to make up the thing and uh, yeah, and then and then plan how you're going to get there. And, and I'm sure you will have success doing that. So my last one is um, something that's really important, particularly, I think, when you're in that kind of scaling up phase. And it's probably, you know, we're celebrating 13 years in business, but it's probably only maybe five or six years ago that we started to take this seriously. And as and it's the importance of your company culture. So I think in the early days of Tag Digital, I thought culture was just something that kind of happened. It was just the result of the people in the office and your culture was your culture. But it's not, it's something that you can intentionally work on and you should work on it. You should work hard on it. You should decide what you want your culture to be like in your business. You should include culture uh, questions when you're hiring people. It's important that you hire people who want to work in the same kind of company culture you do. Um, going back to Laura's point earlier, it's important to have diversity of thought and all that kind of thing in your business. Um, but it's really, it, it, I would say it, can, it could make or break your business whether or not you get the culture right, um, especially if this is something that you want to scale quickly. A lot of pressure comes with that. Um and uh, a lot of pressure comes with scaling quickly. And I think a strong company culture is something you can fall back on to help you through those kind of stressful, difficult times. Yep, absolutely on the culture side. Uh, my last one is that time kills any deal. And as humans, we have a real natural tendency to hesitate, like it's not the right time or you know, we'll do it when this happens and we just hesitate because it just feels easier somehow. So I'd always say now feels like a pretty good time to do something. So move fast. And I've seen like things that we've not done and then somebody else does it. So just do the thing and don't hesitate, take some sort of action because we all love to just make up some kind of reason why we don't do something. So yeah, just go for it. There's never a perfect time for anything really, is there? Yeah. I realise we haven't actually talked about finances or money or profit or any of yeah, these that's, things. But I, that's all important. I think uh, that's all very important. I heard something just the other day that said, what is it? Profit for a business is like oxygen for a person. So you absolutely need it to exist, but it is not the reason to exist, which I thought was I feel like if we helpful. said, I feel like if after 13 years, we said one of the lessons is make money. <laughs> Nobody's, nobody's gaining much from that, from that. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Tag Lab. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe by hitting follow on whatever podcast platform you listen to so you can get the latest episode. Thanks. Thanks.